it's been quite a few trips and quite a few animals. <laughs> Volunteers with the Animal Lifeline Emergency Response Team Society have been busy helping pets and farm animals evacuate from the Karameas Creek wildfire after hundreds of homes were ordered out over the past week. Riding for Life Equine is currently hosting 57 goats, seven horses, one mini horse, a donkey, and a pig. Whew, actual, actual hauls and, and loading, probably a couple of days, full days of work. But we've kind of been on standby or you know, you get up in the morning and there's text message check-ins to see is there anybody through the emergency um, operations center that's going to need us and, and uh, there's a whole there's a whole crew of volunteers who help out there's haulers like myself in the background there's a whole bunch of other folks that are helping with the paperwork the planning and then uh, the preparing of the site and then there's the, the triage of who goes where and in what order those facing evacuation orders and alerts continue to express gratitude for the help from volunteers i have been impressed actually with people in uh, stressful circumstances that i i certainly don't envy and how gracious they are how they let us come in without knowing us they don't know us at all. We come in, handle their horses. We boss them around a little bit as to how to do it. <laughs> and uh, they, they are not only grateful, but attentive and cooperative and collaborative and yeah. As of Saturday afternoon, over 540 properties in rural Karameos, the Apex area, and Olala remain on evacuation order, with a further 1,050 properties in the area under alert. For folks who have animals and may find themselves in um, an evacuation alert or order, plan ahead, have a plan. For CastNet News, I'm Casey Richardson.